By now, everyone and their grandma has done the tank only challenge, but nobody is yet stupid enough to do it as Poland, the nation who got blitzed in like a month in World War II. So let's see if we can pull an Una reversal with the tanks on the Germans. Let's go. So the reason the tank only challenge is so difficult is because tanks are insanely expensive. And as you can see, our industry is not exactly the greatest. We only have nine mils. We're gonna need to build a lot more. Research, obviously just gonna go industry. Construction, they're gonna build civs in these southern provinces because there's just no no way we produce enough tanks to hold the entire country, so we are gonna have to retreat down here. Mills, we're gonna completely abandon the Air Force. Does it seriously look like that we can afford tanks and planes? Yeah, no. Okay, we're gonna put one on AA, one on artillery, and everything else on guns. I'm thinking maybe we can sell some guns later on to uh, help our economy a little bit. Focuses, four-year plan, rush down to that extra research slot. We need to do a lot of research. Army. Currently, we have a grand total of zero tank divisions, which means that the entire army is gonna have to go in the trash. Goodbye. Five speed, go. Extra research slot, we're gonna get radio early because obviously we need to use these in our tanks later on. And then let's do uh, assemble the Regency Council. This is the easiest way to get rid of the stupid sanitation left and right garbage and also the April Constitution. These are terrible national spirits. First 100 PP, we immediately put it into worker conditions because right now our economy is kind of small anyway, so it's not really gonna take a big hit. And also that stability is gonna come in really nice later on for that factory output. 5th of November, act done. And let's get over here and fix Poland's 1 billion problems, namely Danzig and the stupid ass peasant strike. You just gotta do this with every Poland game. So annoying. Friedrich Christian claims the throne. We're actually gonna say yes to this because he has some pretty decent traits and also if we get him, we can mess around with the Commonwealth later on if we want to. And yes, I'm gonna research medium tanks way ahead of time. We need to just start producing these as soon as possible. I'm also gonna research armored trains because Germany is gonna bomb the crap out of me and my civilian trains are just gonna be blown to smithereens. So we definitely need these armored trains. What I'm gonna do is go over here and research some armor and engine technologies. We strictly don't need this, but over here you can see when we finish this research, we get 500 extra funds on our tank designer. And if we get enough funds over here, then we could get these insane upgrades for our tank designer, and they are really OP. So I'm gonna do this. Peasant Strike dealt with, Danzig dealt with, let's work on our industry. Also reminds me, now that we've dealt with Danzig, I have access to the market, so I'm just gonna put all my guns on the market. We honestly don't need a lot of guns for tank divisions, so uh, just sell all of them. Low price, I need a boost to my industry desperately. And yeah, we're building mills super early. We need an insane amount of mills for those tanks. They are just so expensive. Uh, Germany wants to buy our guns. Um, uh, <laughs> okay, sure. We're going to sell them guns that they're then going to use to attack us with. I honestly don't think it matters because uh, we, just, we just need industry. Help my industry, Germany. And there we go. We have enough funds to upgrade our tank designer. Obviously, let's get medium tanks because that's what we're doing. Five soft attack, five hard attack. 5 armor. These buffs are honestly insane. Mediums are researched. Let's put this into production immediately. Design, we're gonna go 3-man turret and we're gonna go for the medium howitzer radio, the best one we have. We're gonna go for sloped armor and also a uh, heavy machine gun as well and uh, wet ammunition storage. Why not? We're gonna go torsion bar, just the basic armor and we can put on a little bit more armor and have a little bit more speed on these things. This is pretty much as expensive as we can afford to be honest so let's just put like a billion of these into production. Go. And as as you can see, they use so many resources. Oh my god. Let's do expand Katowice resources, get 24 more steel. We desperately need steel. I also maxed out the infrastructure in that state, so hopefully, uh, yeah, we can up our steel production. Right now, I'm spending all my sieves importing. I'm also gonna research mechanized way ahead of time, because this gives extra hardness to, uh, motorized infantry, which is gonna help us quite a lot. I know it's insanely ahead of time, but it's gonna be worth it. Okay, yeah, our domestic steel production has just gone through the roof. There's 103 steel in the state. Oh Oh my goodness. <laughs> By the way, this is gonna be my final tank division. I know the org is a bit low, but uh, the doctrines should boost that back up, and I'm just gonna start training now because, um, yeah, it is already August 1938, so let's try and get some divisions out the door. <laughs> right now, our army is just non-existent, and Germany is right next door with like 200 divisions. We can upgrade our tank designer again, plus 10% efficiency cap and 10% efficiency gain. That is just insane. I am also making an intelligence agency because I wanna try and force a non-aggression pact with the Soviets, keep them happy as long as possible whilst I deal with the Germans. And yeah, we can now straight up get minus 5 production cost on all medium tanks. Yeah, this designer is just busted. <laughs> hey, we got our first 
first Polish tank divisions. Nice. He's going to hold the uh, Slovakian border after Germany yoinks the rest of Czechoslovakia. Okay, Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. The Germans are justifying on us. We did get a non aggression pact with the Soviets with our spy just before the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact, and now we sent the spy to Germany. Um, uh, let's just pray that we can produce enough tanks to hold. I'm also going to build some level 1 forts. The point of these forts is not actually to hold them back, but to give some extra bonuses to our engineer companies. Basically, engineers give extra bonuses on forts. Okay, Danzig or War. We do have like another 13 days to decide, so um, yeah. Let's try and get as many tanks out in that time as possible. We do not have 95 days though. Okay, all our divisions are out. Danzig or War has one day left. We run out of time. Um, all that's left is just to pray to God that we can hold. Danzig will remain Polish. Um, yeah, we don't talk about the fact that I'm just gonna surrender Danzig to Germany anyway. What I am gonna do is uh, release uh, Czechoslovakia in this one province. There's basically nothing here, so this is one less tile for me to hold. Uh, I'm gonna count on Hungary and Romania not joining the Axis yet. I'm gonna hold the East for now. I'm gonna see if this works. I'm okay, Germany declares war. Let's just pray. Let's join the Allies. Yeah, okay. Um, so far, the Slovakian front does seem to be holding. These are mountains, so they are easy to hold. We are mostly holding, I think. Um, yeah, this is not looking good. They are deorging us. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Why did I do this? We cannot lose control of this one state. This is all of our steel production here. If we lose the state, we lose all of our steel. Um, we're mostly holding. We've pushed back one tile. Uh, I think we're doing decent. I mean, we've taken 10k casualties. We've killed 69,000 Germans. Nice. I do have to produce more tanks really quickly, though, because Hungary and Romania are going to join the Axis, and when that happens, we're not going to have a good day. Guys, we're actually- this is ridiculous. We're actually holding. We're actually holding with tanks only. <laughs> Tank only Poland works. Okay, let's start upgrading our general as well. 10% more defense. Thank you very much. These tanks are honestly insane. There is one division on Warsaw right now, and they still can't take it. I mean, thank God for the Vistula as well, obviously. Look at this tank. 500 soft attack, and the Germans have 39 soft attack. Yeah, Germany. Get on my level. <laughs> <laughs> We've already inflicted 190k on Germany. We've only taken 21k. That's like my favorite thing about tank divisions. The, the casualty ratios are just insane. If things ever get out of hand, we've got these decisions here. It gets us a bonus in that state. Like here, this division is deorging. So I click that decision and yeah, we're pretty much good. Hey, and we also pushed Germany out of the one tile we lost. Nice. Let's keep getting these doctrines up. We need more org on our tanks desperately. And yeah, we also need to train more divisions to cover the Hungarian and Romanian front. They're going to join the Axis any second. <laughs> If Hungary joins the Axis right now, I am so screwed. Imagine being a German soldier right now, invading Poland with your panzers. My trains are literally shooting down the Luftwaffe. What is this? <laughs> yeah, those armored trains are definitely worth it. If we didn't have them, our train stockpile would just be dead right now. And I also forgot how much fuel tanks use. Uh, guess we gotta spend all of our factories importing oil now. Oh my god. Paris has fallen. Seriously, France? Seriously? <laughs> I'm honestly dumb. These are the worst allies in the world. Look at Poland with their tank-only army, and France is just over here dying. Okay, Hungary just joined the Axis and they joined the war. We do have divisions here. They're not very well equipped, but uh, hopefully we can hold off the Hungarians at least. We did also get pushed back a few tiles here because obviously France is now gone, so all of Germany's efforts are focused on taking out Poland. <laughs> okay, Romania joins the Axis as well. That's fine. We have tanks on this border. I'm just praying that everyone can hold right now. <laughs> okay, Soviet Union demands the East. I I think it's time that we uh, surrender some land because the last thing we need right now is also a Soviet Union to fight so uh yeah goodbye Eastern Poland I swear to god though I'm gonna get this back okay screw you Stalin screw you <laughs> this does shorten our front line which is actually good so uh, it's not all bad it's not all bad oh my god we lost Warsaw because of my divisions shuffling around are you kidding me okay whatever we can just get it back it's fine our tanks are insane we are now out of our tank deficit so I think what I'm gonna do is just design a better but more expensive tank and yeah these new tanks are so expensive we're back to making like two tanks a day oh no <laughs> at least these tanks are gonna be like godly though yeah, we got no problem holding now. This is Fortress Poland made with 29 pure tank divisions. <laughs> Whilst Germany is busy completely destroying Yugoslavia, I took my first German city. And of course, there's no factories in the state. 
Hey, we got our first encirclement of today. Oh, Germany, what's it like to get encircled? Get out of here, Germany. It is now February 41. Uh, we've killed like nearly 2 million Germans already, so I'm hoping they maybe start Barbarossa soon. If they start Barbarossa, I can start doing some encirclements. Oh, Soviet Union declared war on Hungary. What? Why the hell did they declare war on Hungary? Um, okay, well, I guess uh, the Soviets are at war with the Germans now. <laughs> all right, we'll do a little bit of pushing just so the Soviets don't get all of my land, and if we can, we can maybe cut them off near Danzig? I'm thinking, I don't know. Okay, we have reached the coast, so that's the Königsberg pocket cut off. And yeah, we can take it. Polish tanks storm into East Prussia. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, this is a lot of German divisions in this pocket. Boom! Oh my god, so many casualties. I guess next we go to Berlin. Oh, now we've taken Königsberg, the allied troops are flooding in. I mean, not like we needed help, but uh, thanks guys, I guess. Oh yeah, Romania, Hungary, and Bulgaria just getting wrecked by the Soviets. Greece is still here, Germany, you're so screwed. Hey, the tanks retake Danzig, let's go. Oh, Danzig or war, more like tank only Poland. And now there are allied troops reinforcing my lines, I can actually be a little bit Bit more aggressive with uh, overextending our forces, so I'm gonna try and take the supply hub and just starve all the Germans out. Encirclement! Yeah, let's go. Let's start getting the German pockets. Who's blitzing who now? <laughs> and we got another one. Let's just start cutting the German lines to pieces. Our tanks are so strong, I literally just right click and they go there. <laughs> oh my god, this is another insane German pocket gone. How many divisions do they have? They have like no divisions left. We killed 3.3 million of them. I'm the true Blitzkrieg. There we go, Berlin fully encircled. Revenge for the Siege of Warsaw. Get out of here, Germany. Oh, we also called all of Eastern Germany. Um, okay, cool, I guess. More factories for me. Yeah, German army pretty much stopped existing at this point. <laughs> okay, I'm done with the micro. Full-scale tank offensive goal. Look how fast we're pushing the German. Our tanks are so fast. Oh, Germany just collapses. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we're going straight through the Sudeten forts. What the heck? Is that how strong our tanks are now? <laughs> this is insane old history. Polish tanks going through the Arden forest. What is this? Okay, final victory point. That should be Germany surrendering. Yeah, let's go. Four million German casualties versus 200k Polish ones. Okay, uh, why is Italy still alive? Seriously, allies, are you this incompetent? Go, 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 go. Polish tanks roll into Italy. Italian civil war and uh, we got the puppet on Italy. What the frick? I honestly hate supply in Hungary because the entire Hungarian supply system consists of uh, Budapest. That's literally Literally it. Okay, Slovakia is gone. Let's attack Hungary from the north, and yeah, we can take Budapest no problem this time. Boom, Budapest falls, and uh, Hungary gone. Axis surrenders. Peace deal. We pretty much got everything we wanted. Germany just doesn't exist anymore. Anyway, next stop, Soviet Union, because Stalin yoinked half our country, and I ain't forgot about that yet. And we've been booted out the Allies because I generated too much world tension with that peace conference. Screw you, UK. And the Soviets are now justifying on us. That's gonna take 200 days, so we do have time to prepare. By preparing, I obviously mean training like a billion more tank divisions go. I've honestly upgraded this tank designer so much, like look at all of those buffs, we're making nearly 40 tanks a day as Poland. <laughs> Soviet justification on us is nearly done. I've trained enough divisions to cover the entire front line. We're still missing like 1.7k tanks, so hopefully that doesn't bite me in the ass. I'm gonna use this extra army of tanks to first wipe out Hungary because they do have some divisions in here. Then I'm gonna send them to coast guarding because the Soviets are gonna naval invade us. I don't have a navy, so they're definitely gonna naval invade us. I have noticed though that the UK has guaranteed us again, and uh, I don't really want that because that's gonna drag the allies into the war, and I want to take everything, so what I'm gonna to do is uh, join the Chinese United Front and that gets rid of the British guarantee. Yeah, it's gone. So um, yeah, the, the allies won't get involved in this war and we are in the Chinese United Front. <laughs> The Soviets have their war goal, but they've not declared war on us. Um, I have no idea why. Maybe they're scared of my tank-only army. <laughs> uh, I switched out my old tanks for the new ones, and I didn't exactly look at how many resources we would need, and holy guacamole! 714 steel. Yeah, there goes all of our sieves. The Soviet war goal expired, and they're justifying on us again. Um, <laughs> are you okay, Stalin? What are you doing? I'm literally just here chilling, making 30 tanks per day. Uh, I, I don't know what Stalin is doing. <laughs> oh, they actually declared on us this time. Damn. Okay, uh, we should be able to hold though because 
because our tanks are literally insane right now. And as I expected, Soviet naval invasion. Got more Soviet naval invasions. I mean, it's just three divisions, honestly. <laughs> yeah, we already got 2.1 million Soviet casualties and not even 200k Polish ones. Might as well add some mechanized onto our division as well because uh, we definitely weren't beating the Soviets hard enough already. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'm done with defending. Let's just go full-scale offensive. Go. This is the Polish Blitz of the Soviet Union. Barbarossa, let's go. This is gonna be a nice amount of Soviet troops encircled here in Bulgaria. Oh my god, so many divisions. So many divisions. Our tanks are so fast. Look how fast this offensive is going. We're already nearly at Moscow, almost at Leningrad as well, <laughs> and we're going towards Stalingrad. Moscow is taken, so is Stalingrad. The only annoying thing about this is that the Soviet supply system basically just stops existing after Moscow, and if you know anything Thing about tanks is that they are completely useless without supply, so uh, this is gonna be quite painful. Two thousand years later. A combination of my own stupidity and the fact that tanks literally do not work when there is no supply uh, means that this war has gone on for way the hell too long. It's November 1947. <laughs> Please subscribe. Uh, anyway, the Soviets are finally close to capitulation. They are like 89% and also we are about to finish a collaboration government. I think this is gonna make them capitulate. China went to war with Xinjiang who joined the Comintern, so they invaded the Soviets from the east and then took Vladivostok, so uh, the war is finally about to end. And, and why not? Let's go for a last push with our tank divisions. Go. Go, go, go. Push, push, push. Die, Soviet Union. Oh my god, this war has literally lasted like five years. I hate the Soviet supply system with a passion. There are no supply hubs. <laughs> We've inflicted a truly stupid amount of casualties on the Soviets. 11.2 million, and we've not even taken 1 million. <laughs> There we go, collaboration government finishes, lag spike, finally the Soviets capitulate, and we pretty much have all the war score, so I guess we can just do whatever the hell we want now. So, with all of that, Eastern Poland is recovered, and uh, also a little bit more. Might as well click the button, form the Commonwealth, Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth is back, and we did all of that using only the goddamn tank division. Okay, that was tank-only Poland, I hope I made all you Polish people proud, please subscribe.